All right, welcome to Google Season of Docs Office Hours. It's December 3rd. Thanks everyone for joining. So I had poll requests as a topic for today. Are there other topics we should be discussing? Some of the review that's due on the 5th. Or the Good, okay. So let's, how about we hide that under yeah. Let's see, review, uh, actually it's a project summary. Mm -hmm. Here, let me just grab it right from there, right? So it's project report. Here, we'll just copy all those and delete text. Okay, so Zenob, you've got the blog post pull request submitted. Right, and so let's go grab that. Already has two approvals. Clearly it's going to be posted soon. Great, okay. Okay. All right, so done. All right, then we've got the, well, so let's get the agenda ready, I guess, first before we worry about content. So Google Season of Docs, any other topics we need to be sure we include? Online meetup, we should probably talk about that. Okay, and then we okay with putting a what's next topic? Any other topics that need to go on the list? Okay, then let's run the meeting. Great. Poll requests. So I just submitted, um, let me submit the initial review. Where did I put it? Here we go. I put some comments in. No, I've got to do more before I submit them. So review is in progress. And some of the things that the uh, use the new plugin installation manager instead of install plugins. And I'll provide you a, a sample how to things how to do that, Zenub, and uh, other minor tweaks. That's that's the biggest one I found so far, and I think it's it's a fairly easy one for us to to do. Just have you put it in, in the instructions and it'll just work. The sample data files PR, has that one been merged already? Did we get that one in yet? Nope, not yet. Okay, but I think we resolved Oleg's concerns. Yes, so I propose Given how busy Oleg is, I'm just going to get, go ahead and merge it. Any objections? Okay. Merged.
All right. Anything else on the pull requests? We need. I need to finish scaling Jenkins review and get it merged. And then, oh, blog post merge, right? Yes. That's right here. So it seems like we should be able to finish that if since you've already submitted it, should we set our goal that it re reviewed and merged by end of day December 4 so that we've clearly completed it? Yes, because I will need um, the link to the published blog post to fill in the Google season of Docs form. Okay, good. So, so there may even be a benefit. Is is it is it okay if it if we publish tomorrow after yes. end of your working day? That still gives you enough time to submit the re final report on time. Yes, it does. Great. Okay. And uh, after so after Zenob's end of day and let's i still think let's yeah let's set our goal december 4 that way you can for final report for december 5. great yeah all right we had this note from last time i don't think there's anything more to to discuss on it about other things to be added did i miss something there um this was on the, the scaling um okay. jenkins pr Got it. Thank you. And likewise, that one. Okay. So, anything else with, on pull requests? No. Okay. Google season of docs timeline. Then, so we've got we're st we're on track for December five. The blog post is ready and two reviews, two approved already. So that looks that looks really good. What was the publication date you would put on that? It was, I assume, the fourth? The fifth, okay, great. Would you be okay if we adjusted that one day earlier, Zenob? I'll just change the yes. file name to be the fourth? Yes. Okay, great. All right, good, okay. Then we've got the evaluations next week, both by yes. you, Zenob, and by the mentors. Yes. Zenob, did you receive the link from Google for the for that location? Yes, I did. So um, I'd like to clarify um, the names of the mentors, because I know we had um, some people from the community join us um, during some of the meetings, but I'm not sure if to fill in the names and also um, someone like Justin that handled the knowledge sharing session. So I just need to be sure. Yeah, and they they were not good good reminder. They were certainly voices, but they were not specifically registered with Google Season of Docs as mentors. And we'd even asked Torsten if he was interested in being a mentor and he, he politely declined and said he just didn't have capacity for it. So if you just list those three mentors, that's, that is accurate and correct. Okay. And, um, Mikey Jackson will be the org admin if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, yeah, actually I think, oh, that's a good, good point. I think org admins, I think I'm an org admin and Mark is an org admin. Yeah. Okay. Kristen, I don't think we assigned you as an org no. admin, did we? <laughs> no, I'm not, and that's that's fine with me. I was like, <laughs> I remember the stuff was a, uh, it was originally Oleg, and everything got moved over. So. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So let's do that. Sorry. Okay. Good. So then the mentor evaluation, Kristen, did you receive the link as well? 
for the mentor evaluation? Um, let me check. I didn't see one yesterday, so. Um. Okay, so the, they may use the same technique they used with, with Google Summer of Code. I received a, a mentor link, so I may need to, we may need to do a group submission as a single evaluation. Okay. So Mark sent draft a proposed, yeah. that, proposed that evaluation with them with for approval by other mentors. I just checked my email. I saw that I got it. Oh, you did. Like, oh, like, okay. for, like hit like just within the past hour. So since I hadn't checked my email in the past hour, <laughs> I didn't see it, but yeah, I did get it. But yeah, it, it's probably easiest to have you um, just, we all submit it one thing. Okay, that's so, how it was done for um, sub Summer of Code and it's just that way people aren't overwriting things and everything. Excellent. All right. Okay, and we will review that and discuss it in next week's office hours a week from today. Is that right? Now, I think we had intentionally chosen to, to not have office hours next Monday. Let me bring up my calendar just to be sure because, because really project is done as by next Monday. There, it's just evaluation. Oh no, it's on my calendar. Do we want to meet next Monday, December the 7th? Is there anything we should be discussing there or should we cancel that session? I think we should meet since um, I'm still working on AWS and also in preparation for the Jenkins online meetup. Oh, oh, right. Very good. All right. To discuss AWS and prepare for the meetup. Very good. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Good. All right. So then December 10, we meet. And then the next scheduled time that I had was the 17th that we would skip the 14th and meet on the 17th as our now new schedule of once a week meeting on Thursdays to have docs office hours. Is that still okay for you, Zenob? Yes. Okay. And Kristen, is that going to work for you? Yeah. There's Thursday works for me. Great. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Next topic then, online meetup plan. Yes. So abstract's been submitted. Um, plus one from all voters. So that's, so we're ready to go. So what I plan to do today is Mark today will create the, the Jenkins online meetup draft, uh, send to Oleg and others for review, and then we will publish the meetup invitation tomorrow, Friday, uh, early in the, let's, let's see, midday, in Europe slash Africa. So it will be, think three o'clock PM, your time probably Zinab, when it will be announced and published. And you should then start tweeting about it. I'll tweet about it. The Jenkins account will tw tweet about it. Oh. Um, and, and of course now the, that's a good excuse. If you're okay with it, we will post the blog that same time and I'm going to tweet the blog and the online meetup in the same, in the same post. That makes sense. That way we've got, got a reminder to people, here's this blog, and there's also going to be an online meetup that will introduce you to the concepts and let you see the results. All right. Okay. Anything else on the online meetup? 
Yes, I wanted to ask about the content, like um, what the presentation is expected to be like. Um, do I need to prepare slides or um, use my report or just show the work that we've done on Jenkins.io? Good question. So, so you're welcome. If slides will help you, you're welcome to prepare them. Um, we've we've had great success with people showing demonstrations. So, if you would if you would be willing, for instance, to to walk through a Kubernetes install, that would people would probably love that. If if you say no, that's just too dangerous. I'm not going to do it from from my remote location, that's okay too. Uh, slides, are, slides are great. Uh, if you'd prefer, we could even have a, a conversation or a themed conversation between you and the mentors. You know, a series of questions and answers, if you'd like. It's talking about, hey, what were the, what were the parts and pieces that worked and didn't? Um, Certainly, you should review the site, site content, show what's been created, what's been reworked, and it, or what's been improved. Maybe we should just call it improved. Yeah. Kristen, any suggestions from you on things that might might make a, an online meetup successful and interesting? Yeah, you know, I was like the big thing I always see that or always makes me interested in the online demos is when, or sorry, the online meetups is when someone does do a demo and they talk about like talk through things. I, I don't know, like, like I would prefer to kind of have it that way um and maybe then also talking about the some of docs experience i don't maybe something else that if you know the kubernetes stuff were to kind of stretch it out we can also talk about how you had to set up the doc site to help get people contributing to docs so it's not just like focusing on the kubernetes stuff but also like hey this is what i had to do and the contributing to docs process and we can kind of use it for that as well right because then, now oh, oh, go ahead kristen oh go for it mark i'm, I'm no, no, you first. Oh, okay, yeah, I was like, because I think that would be also really helpful too, right? Because maybe um, they've seen some other pieces for Kubernetes, but maybe they're interested in like, oh, I have an idea for a tutorial, or you know how we have the startups for AWS and the IBM Cloud. Oh, I want to write the like one for GCP. It would be a good opportunity to show like this is what I had to do to go through it. Here's some steps. That's that's it. Continue. <laughs> Like, this awesome work that I have it's like I've blazed this trail like please take advantage of what I've learned <laughs> to be able to improve the documentation yeah that that's I, I like that tutorial good okay all right Now, Zina, so so many, you, there's just so many ideas coming into my head, and with all this, all everything you said, and I'm just think, thinking of how to structure it. Maybe start right. with, <laughs> there yeah, <you> exactly. <laughs> <A lot of> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you think that you would like to do too, because like you're, you'll be the driver. So I think the demo idea is actually um, is a very good idea, and it's kind of, it's quite engaging. Um, so, hmm. okay. Some of the ideas for a demo that's, for a demo that's coming to my head is, um, say, um, for instance, um, setting up um, to run um, Jenkins.io on Windows, on Windows PC, especially since I had issues um, with that, that's an idea. Then also installing Jenkins on Kubernetes, probably using Jenkins on Twitter. That's another idea. Yeah, that's a definitely really good point about the Windows machine, because that was 
Yeah. People that and will from that. <laughs> so. I know I can tell a lot of people would have um, issues from my research. I notice a lot of people have issues running most of these things on um, a Windows computer. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll try and work something out. Um, we'll, whatever it is, we'll finalize um, in the next meeting. Great. Well, and if you'd like to present a, um, an outline or a framework for the, the presentation in the next meeting, we're certainly happy to give feedback on it. That, yeah, if, that, okay. if that will help you, that would be delightful. All right. Thank you. Any, any other topics around the online meetup plan? I don't think I have anything right now. Okay. I, I guess one possibility is you might consider um, including in your talk what's next for <laughs> Jenkins and Kuber on Kubernetes documentation. Okay. Because there are probably things that still need to be described, right? There are certainly, yeah. it's a huge environment, and so many more things that could be. This might be a chance to invite others to contribute. Um, I don't know if you noticed um, in my, in the blog post I submitted, um, there was a spreadsheet I created for oh, right. content um, for Jenkins on Kubernetes. So um, in that spreadsheet, what my intentions are, are for us to capture everything or at least um, the topics we would like to document for Jenkins on Kubernetes. Then um, there's a section for status. Um, we can include, we can um, indicate the ones that um, are already available on Jenkins.io the ones that are in progress and the ones that need to be worked on. So when we are inviting um, people to contribute, they can, you know, have an overview of what we've worked on and what other contents that we need um, for Jenkins on Kubernetes. I like that. I like that a lot. We used a similar technique and our actually still using it for the wiki to Jenkins.io migration. So good for you, that's great. Allows others to help, to see progress and help. Great. Okay. Any, any other topics we need to discuss there? All right. And next, after Google Season of Docs, I think we're still planning that we'll meet every week. We'll talk once a week about in an office hour session, just like this one, at this time. Looking forward to it. Great. Great. All right. Anything else before we conclude for today? Nothing for me. Okay, thanks everybody. All right, thank we'll you. We'll talk to you on Monday.